Hi, and welcome to this demo showing Servlet 3.0 uh, web fragments and how you can override this with web.xml. So here I have a web application where I'm creating a servlet, which I don't trust, so I call it suspect servlet. Uh, it does not have a web.xml. This is servlet 3.0, uh, which uh, makes web.xml um, a non-required file. So if I have some default uh, behavior in the servlet, and run the web app, I see that I can, um, if I give the proper uh, URL, hit the actual servlet. Now, if I go back to the application, um, actually move to another application, which has been set up to use a wicked uh, hello world, um, which has an XML file and the HTML file and, and a couple of Java files. Uh, and this is available and, and they, I'm able to do this because I have a number of libraries set up. Uh, so this is wicked and its various dependencies. And I still ha don't have a web.xml. So I'm going to add another uh, dependency to the project, which is something I call the wicked enabler, which is uh, nothing but a jar file that has a web fragment as part of the uh, web, uh, the meta.inf directory, which has essentially what you would have in web.xml. So if I run this guy, I can hit uh, the hello world page uh, shown by wicked. Now, the other thing I want to show you here is how you can create an explicit web.xml, again, which is not required by default, but the reason I'm creating this is that I want to add uh, this attribute to the web app, uh, which is called metadata complete, and, and position this to be true. And um, this means that although I do have a web servlet annotation here, it will be ignored because the only thing that the application will application server will consider is web.xml. So as you've, as you've seen, it's not available. So if I do the same thing on this other application, which doesn't have an at web servlet, but does have a web fragment, I will have the same behavior, which is if I have metadata complete set to true and run the application, um, it will actually be ignored and not available.